I call your name, you pay me no mind, and I call your name, oh you make me sigh, but when I hold your hands, tell me what am I to do, when I call your name, you pay me no mind. I am here vibing with another one of the iconic figures in Jamaica's music industry. A man who has lived through all the stages and phases in the evolution of our music. His parents named him Wilburn Cole, but we know him as... Stranger Cole. Father Cole. Yeah, respect a man. Icon. Yeah, respect. General. Yeah, please. Man out and clean. May I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> it's a job for sitting in the presence with a great man. Thank you very much. And we don't use the word lightly. I'm one of the man who helped yeah. set the thing. Yeah, of course. Yeah, man. Give yes. thanks. Who are you that I should be mindful of? But what? You run for refuge and were rescued. That's a fact. Then why lie and try to bite the hands that feed you? Yes, the good you do will lives after you. Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! Father Cole, yeah. talk to us now, man. It Early is. life, yeah. place of birth. Yeah, yeah, when I was born in the parties, you know, so I saw in the 1940s. Something somewhere around it, because I stopped going from the past gone. 50. You know? All right, yeah. all right, all right, all right. All right. Yeah. Well, you have big man at the thing, in more yes, ways than okay. one. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, which, where, where, where were you actually born? I was born in, um, in Jonestown, Jonestown, you know. Jonestown adjoining to Trenchtown. Oh, okay. But most of my life I go in Trenchtown. Oh, so you moved from Jonestown to, to Trenchtown? To, yes. How old were you at the time when you moved? Uh, like baby, baby. Baby, baby, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you went to live at 9th Street? 9th Street in Trenchtown mm. for a long time. A long time. And then my whole life is West Kingston. West Kingston. Because I go to Trenchtown School, Boys Town School. Denham Town School, so most of my young lives oh, okay. spend in the West. Spend in the West? Yes. Yeah, so before we take up some other part of the thing, though, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have many brothers and sisters, you know, some named Cole and some by my mother's oh, okay. side. A lot of them live in um, Portland, Windsor Forest, things like that. Oh, okay, yes. and all, your siblings, all of them that you know are still alive? No, one and two of them has passed on. Oh, you know? Okay, yeah, uh, my condolences for all of those who, Thank you, who have passed. But the majority of them is still alive. Yeah, and mom and dad passed. Yeah, my mom and dad passed away, you know. My condolences. Mm -hmm. So you made mention of some of the schools that you attended just now. You so you went to Jones Town? No, Trench Town, yeah. primary. Yeah. And when then Denham Boy Stone. Boy Stone. Denham Town. And Denham Town. It was comprehensive at the time. Yes. You know mm. me more than I do. No, I know I look a bit bad. I do I look a bit. What yeah. was it like growing up back then, though, Father Cole, from a financial perspective? In those times, there was no money. At no all, money. You know? And most of us as Jamaican artists, we were, wasn't in it for money. We mm. was in it for the love no, of the music. music. Mm. Because if you talk to all of us, we never really make any money out of it. But we love the music so much. That is why it is so strong today. Because mm. it's the love do it. Yeah. Yes. So no money never about growing up? No. No. Yeah. And you grew up with mommy and daddy together in the same household? Yes. Okay. Cool now, man. Cool now, cool now, cool now. Back then, though, between Jonestown and Trenchtown, what was it like as it relates to violence? There was no violence. No violence? No. There was no violence. Uh, I could have walked from Trenchtown to Arnold Road to anywhere late at night, you know, and Marcia Griffiths would say that too. And the only thing was a problem was the dogs that my bark at you. <laughs> so you bend down your foot to Thank all the dog run, mm. you know. So that was it, really. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> and then, look what the thing there now, eh? Yeah, the thing mm -hmm. get away still, but we are going to kind of still keep it up and encourage the younger one then 
that is not the money thing and all that. It's the love for people and the love for the music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Speaking about love for yeah. music now, yeah. at what age or stage do you start getting involved in music? Well, I start getting in music from my young days, you know, because my parents, them are musicians. Oh, yeah? Yeah, my father played guitar. My uncle played guitar. He used to jam with Ernest Wrangling and all of these things. My brother was the number one disc jockey for Duke Reed Sound System. His name was Cuttings, Leroy Cole. So all of my life I grew. Around the music? Around the, the music. music, yes. Yeah? So mm -hmm. growing up around the music though, when, when you actually start, you know, gravitate to it, because you can't they run something and really get involved yes. with it, you know? Yes, you're so right. I started to gravitate to it uh, at an early age when I was going to school. And the most part of it is when I went to Denham Town School mm -hmm. because all of my friends them know that I was singing around this time. Okay. Yes, yeah, so at the end of term, they, they called me up to sing and all of these things, you know? And then I can remember my first audience was at school when my friend called me up and said, Stranger called. Is you gonna sing? And I say, eh. and say, okay. And I went up and I sing um, uh, uh, um, Wilfred Jack Edwards tune because he's Edwards. one of my favorite okay. artists. And I sang a song called "Tell Me, Darling." And them say, sing the next one, man. I sing another one. Jack Edwards too. And I got two ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I, I, I have a documentary movie called um, The Root of Rockste Rock Ste Rocksteady, which I mentioned all of this. Okay, thing. okay. I haven't so, watched it, you know, but I yeah. know of it. Yeah. 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 So I actually see the trailer, but I yeah. see the, 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 the full thing. Yeah. So, so that was the beginning of me. Uh, but I, and you said them time your friend them know say yeah sing already. Who were the people in this piece apart from Jackie Edwards who you were listening to? Where yeah say yeah you know me like that's something differently. Yeah me used to listen to everybody, but Jackie was my favorite because I listen, used to listen to people like our uh, Lord Tony Moon and mm -hmm. these guys, which was before me Alton and Eddie Mirrell and Higgs and Wilson and all of these guys who was long before me. Monty Morris Monty and Eric. Derek Morgan too. They were all before me. So I used to listen to them and pray that one day I could do something like that. Yes, you made mention that your <laughs> friend referred to you as Stranger Cola. So, so early you took on that name? Yeah, because the story about Stranger Cola, when I was born, they say I didn't resemble anyone in the family. <laughs> so, so they called me Stranger. <laughs> So when I get in the music business, I thought that would be a good name to Stranger use. Cole. So I call myself Stranger Cole. Makes sense, man. <laughs> <laughs> so at school, you get, get a feel of the thing. But professionally now, how you, you enter into the music from a professional perspective? You're such a great guy. <laughs> well, um, my first play was with Joe Creed. Oh, Treasure Isles. Treasure Isles, because I went to Treasure Isles to sing my song and all of that. And because of my brother was playing the Duke Reed number one song, oh, I thought more or less, in. yeah, this would be a good opportunity for me. <laughs> so I went to Duke Reed and I went with my book and all of that. So Mr. Reed said, send in cutting like a brother, let us hear what he has to say. So I went in and I sing a few songs for him. And he like a special one out of it. In and out of the a window. A song called In and Out the Window. And he <laughs> said, why well, stranger call you can't sing, you know. <laughs> Me have some man a wicked name, Derek Morgan or Monty Morris. He said, I'm going to give Monty Morris a song to sing and put your name on it as the writer. And I thought, more or less, this is a great opportunity oh, you did. for me. Because some of them vexed, you know? Yeah, oh, man, I'm a little vexed, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I said, OK, because this is an opportunity. And then Monty Murray sang myself. Two little blackbirds sat on the wall. One named Peter, the other named Paul. Ooh. And that song went number one. And then Mr. Reed said to me that, 
if you can write all of these songs, you can sing them too. Mm. So in, at that moment, he encouraged me to go and look for this lady named Patsy. Melissa and Todd. Yeah, yeah, that was singing with Derek Morgan because he thought more or less that I have a voice like Derek Morgan. Mm -hmm. So he sent me to Miss Patsy and I went and saw her and she, she knew me a little bit through my brother and she decided to sing with me. And then that recording session, Mr. Reed said, I want you to sing one song by yourself and one with, and one with the lady. Oh! And then we did um, Rough and Tough. And when I call and the name. You call my name. A so, two legendary yeah, songs that. Yeah, so I'm going to get three number one. So you get number one with Monty. Yeah. And you get. Two Rough and tough, yeah, and when I call in with yeah. Patsy. Yeah, and after that it's pure green light. All right, so we'll get to the <laughs> green light. <laughs> Which one of this, your, your voice with Patsy first or your voice Rough and tough first? I don't remember. You don't remember, but you know your but voice is two of them in that session. Patsy first, because yeah, I really love first. to give the lady. First? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. And, so, and, and you wrote that song? Oh, I wrote all my songs. I wrote 99% of my songs. Mm-hmm. Be a couple lines out of when I call it, you know what I mean? When I call your name, you pay me no mind. When I call your name, oh, you make me sigh. But when I hold your hands, tell me what am I to do when I call your name. You pay me no mind. Ra. <laughs> and Patsy come in. Yeah, when Patsy. you call my name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Joan. Yeah, but big Joan. <laughs> big Joan. Yeah, big, very, big, big Joan. Yeah, very big. And that are the first that you go to the book. Oh, well, you didn't go for try with in and out of the window still. Yeah, and yeah, Blue yeah, Creed yeah, said yeah. already. Yeah. And big world song. Yeah. World, world song. World, world song. And then now, uh, next big song. Rough and tough. Yeah, rough and tough. But I have another story, you know, yeah. which I've never spoken about in many occasions. Give me the... Yeah, the <laughs> first time I went into a studio and sing a song, it was with a guy named Roy Panton. So that was before Treasure Isles? No, it was Treasure Isles, but that song never... Don't do well. Do it well. was released? Yes. It called Freedom Land and the next thing with uh, Roy Panton who used to sing with Millie Small. Millie Small and Rock. No matter where and some more thing. So most of the time I never talk about that. Oh. Yeah, but that is the very first song I ever sing in a studio. With. So he actually recorded it at Treasure Isles? Yes, me and him. Okay. Yes. Man. Yes. <laughs> mm. Rough and tough at all. Yeah. Big bad song again. Yeah, too much. Yes. <laughs> so yeah. a number one back to back. Yes. Big a piece of rough and tough dinner, man. Who are you that I should be mindful of? You run for refuge and were rescued. That's a fact. Then why lie and try to bite the hands that feed you? Yes, the good you do who live after lives you. after you. Big Jones, sir. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Big Jones. Yeah, I survived by these songs, you know, because everywhere I go in the world now, people want to hear these songs, mm -hmm. you know? Good music shall yeah, never yeah. die, you know, Father Paul. Good Coleman. music lived for Never, ever. never, never die. And like, I have a whole heap of new songs and all of that, but yeah. I have to squeeze in the new, new one, one. Then. Because the people them want to hear the old one. Then, Classics. Yeah. Classics. And those were the only two songs I did for Duke? No, no, man. Oh, you did more songs at oh, you? Man, many, many, many. Mm. Yeah. Some that went into the chart, too. Like all, um, um, the stranger knocking at the door. I have a song called A.A. Hey, hey, Baby. That are with Patsy. With Patsy, mm. which I would say is my biggest song. A.A. Hey, hey, Baby is your biggest song? Uh, yeah. Because, why, why you say that? Because, um... <coughs> I bought my house and all of that. Out of AA Out Baby. Of AB, yeah. Some car company in Germany use it for a commercial. Advertisement. 
Yeah, and give me a big money. I'm going to buy my house where you come see me down here. Mad. So I would say that is my biggest song. Because it gave me a roof over my head. You see, music is funny like that in a father stranger. Because songs like Rough and Tough and when I call your name and Bang Around. Yes. And all of the other songs that we know. Yeah. And you say no, hey, hey, babies, is tune where buy your house. Yes. Music is a beautiful thing. Music is nice. Yes. Oh, yes. You in. In, in that time, and, and when you broke on the scene, Derek Morgan, um, Prince Buster, yeah. Eric Montemaris, those yeah. were some of the guys who were doing extremely well at the time. Yeah, they were doing well. You and Ken did some work early too. Oh, yeah. World Sphere. Yeah, me and Ken Booth. Um, Ken Booth, that is another story. Mm -hmm. Ken Booth was living in the same area that I live in, in Denham Town. Right. And then... Um, he used to pass by my home and hear me singing around the house corner and then he come and start to jam with me and then I, when I listen to him I know that this guy is a great guy because he can sing, he can do so much thing. So we start to jam and I promised to take him to the studio with me to sing his first song. Stranger called to Ken yeah, Booth yeah, to so the we go to Mr. Reed. I said, Mr. Reed. I have an artist here, I'm bad enough. I want to sing a song. He said, boy, I don't want that guy to sing for, for me. Because I never introduced me and him. I said, Mr. Reed, I'm me and him are going to sing. He said, it's all right. If it's your name. And then me and Ken Boo did a song named Uno the Stress, mm -hmm. which was a big one. And then it's Pierre Greenlight for Ken Boo and myself. Then we had um, Ken and... Ken and Stranger. Stranger and Ken. Yes, yes, man. Yes. We did quite a few songs together. But But probably World's Fair is probably yeah. the biggest oh. one. And Artibella. Artibella. Yes, mm. yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. Does stress. We have a good, quite a few Because your, your career is filled yeah. with collaborative works. Now yeah. we had Stranger and Ken. Yeah. We have... Patsy. Patsy. And Gladdy. And Gladdy, that are Gladstone. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. We do some. We soon get around to all of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So now, your name was, and, and, and we appreciate what you did for Ken. Of course. Because you would have brought one of the, the next legend out in the street. I think most of the artists who reach <coughs> somewhere in music, they should always try to carry a next artist. artist. You know? May I agree with you upon that. Yes. Yeah. Just like a river. Yeah. With you and Gladstone Anderson. Yeah. Gladdy. Gladdy. Mm. My good friend, you know. I think Ed Perkins is on that as well. Ed per oh my. You're such a great youth, you know. <laughs> I have to start to give it to you. Because a lot of people interviewed me, but they don't know. They don't know history. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we don't look at research, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. No <laughs> things. We don't have people look at things. You, you right. put Family Man Barrett play a jump on that song. Uh, yeah, the first song where uh, um, Carlton Barrett play upon was called Bangarang. Bangarang? Yes. Carlton. So, and, 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 and him not play upon um, like a river? No. No. Oh, okay. I've heard that name Atkinson. Atki no, okay. No, yes. Uh, yeah. And I know, maybe I'm wrong still. No, well, me not, me yeah, yeah, probably yeah. are you right, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe yeah, are you yeah, right? Yeah, so I'm not sure. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so. I don't remember everything. Yeah. Me, I think I have, yeah. have him as a drummer on like a river still. Yeah. But so I could be wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, could be wrong too. <laughs> so we just make it. Yeah. Right. But just like a river was a next hit song in the catalog. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Now we have say, I am glad Yes. I am glad the whole heap of song too. Oh, yeah. That one was. Produced I think, I by think me. only you and Pat said the more song than I am glad Yes. True. And, and that was your production? Yes. Uh, just like a river, and it like was distributed river. by Joe Gibbs. By Joe Gibbs, yeah, okay. I'm not giving my money. Do you want to gain money. money? No, but I still get money because I make enough dub plate and sing them from straight. So, it still come have back not, to you. You do have nothing to lose. The good you do will live yeah. after you. My you don't say it already. You know? <laughs> club there for that. In a them time, you know, you record for people like Striker, Bonnie Lee. Yes. Miss Pattinger. And Lee Scratch. Lee Scratch, Beverly Cotton, Run up your Joe mouth. Gibbs. You do run up your mouth for Lee yeah, Scratch. Yeah, my record for everybody, everybody in the early days. Yes. All of the legendary producers you yes. were here. Yeah, my work for all of them. Uh, yes. you, have any, you have any notable song from your time with, with um, Sonia? Pattinger? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Well, me and Patsy did a two hit song for her, maybe three. Oh, okay. We did one name um, Down by the Train Line. Oh, okay. With Count Asi. Count Asi. Yes, and we do another one called Give Me the Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And some, some other, other thing. Name. Good tonight. Yeah. So quite a few. Good to, more. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. and, and anything of note came out of your time around Strike Ali? Yes, man. Bangaram. I have a story about me, that. Me, you know? No, I want a story. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't really just say it. And yeah. Lee now, as I said, I know you did um, run up your, your mouth. Yes. For Lee. yes. What else you did for with, uh, with I Scratch? I did a next song named Conqueror. Conqueror. With the Eptones, them doing backing vocal and all that. And I, I do quite a few more stuff where I don't really remember telling mm. the truth. Yeah. Because the reason why I don't remember a lot of those things, you know, in the early days, when you sing a song, you don't think about it. Because if you can sing a song every weekend, that's a paycheck. So you what sing I do, a yeah, so what I do yesterday, I forget it. That's even this time in my life. Sometimes I hear some song that I made and I didn't really remember, remember. that I made it. Because I was working for the next peer coming up the next <laughs> weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they understand, man. They understand. Patsy started out now with Derek Morgan. Yes. And then it became Stranger and Patsy. Yes. So you take where yeah. Patsy from Derek? Mm -mm. Yeah, I wouldn't say that, but <laughs> him say that. You know? Him say that? Yeah. As a matter of fact, there was a, a, a song that he did for mm. you because of the local situation. Yeah, eh? because... Um, when I did When You Call My Name, it was in England. Mm -hmm. And then um, Duke Reed told me that I had a voice song like Derek Morgan and he wanted me to sing with Patsy. So when Derek Morgan came back from England, all he was hearing on the radio is when Stranger I called Patsy. your name, Stranger and Patsy. How to know him can't get her back yet. He's like, me <laughs> just take her away. So I'm just, I'm going to make a tune in. You fat man. Hey, you fat man, leave my girl alone. I said, Derek Morgan, yeah, I him tell me that. I said, Derek Morgan, I said, you may write that song there, but I never want to say, hey, you Morgan, man. So I said, hey, <laughs> you fat, fat man. man. Mm. And he's my, he's my friend. And he, he, he's my, because even when I make it with Patsy, I went and show with Patsy for Derek Morgan. Oh, okay. Yeah, because in the early days, we didn't have any, um, what you'd call animosity a team mm. with each other. It was a music thing, like Prince Buster. You could go out by Prince Buster any day and see Derek Morgan. Well, even when them are clash. Yeah, because yeah, him sing for Derek Morgan. Uh, him Prince sing for Buster. Prince. Yeah, mm. yeah. So it was now push me and now your face and take out your gun. It was a love thing and music, you know? Yeah, but you yeah, know, I'm to sad to say that, but that's the way it's like you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Patsy you now, yeah. and, and this is one of the, 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 the most famous duos, male, female, you know, the history of the time. music. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You did quite a few songs. You mentioned quite a few of them earlier, but you yeah, did songs yeah, yeah. like Miss B. Yes, man. Hey, Little Girl. Yeah. Senior and Senorita? Yeah. Can you send some of them come give me? Me not have them, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I need you. Yes. Mm. Tom the Canary. Oh, my. Mm. Oh, uh, yeah, my. yeah, baby, which I say, yeah, your biggest yeah, throat. Yes. Buy me a house. Man, one of them tune there. Yes, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so you have Patsy, the whole leaf, whole leaf around. Oh, yeah, me Where is Patsy? Patsy She's living in Florida. Mm. Flo she not come here? Mm. The last time she was in Jamaica is when Prince Buster died and we did oh. some st stuff and all of that. I would love to interview Miss Todd. Yeah, yeah. She, she's okay, but she's not so okay. Yeah, I understand what you mean, man. Yeah, I understand because when you, you grow up in age, you know, I'm, I, I'm kind of a lucky guy still. You know? <laughs> yeah. I don't know where I get all this luck from, but most artists in my age bracket, them kind of mm. get slow and all of that. Understood. Yeah, but me kind of sharp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Be glad for that. Yeah, man. Be glad for that. Book, I would love if she is yeah. able to, you know what I mean? Yeah. All a reason because she would have served the music well down the years. Oh, yes, yes. And I don't think she get a lot of the credit where she no, deserves. No, she don't. You understand? Because when we talk about female artists, Patsy yeah. name come with oh, you. Oh, she's so. one of them. 
biggest. And she would have had monster songs in the space with you, with Derek, and so on. So, some work with Artens. We know you do so. We soon get round to Artens, man. School dance, high school dance, and we soon get Artens. Yeah. We soon get around to this. Yeah, exactly. In 1968, now, yeah. in 1968, you recorded a song that has become a classic for one and has remained at the center of the discussion about the first reggae yeah. music. Okay. Yes. Bangarang. Yeah, Bangarang. And yeah. you say a striker song. Yes, a Bonnie Yeah. Talk to me about the genesis of that song. How was that song created? Okay. One of the most important songs in the history of the music. Yes, but we it's said that very first. important. Yes, so talk to because me Because they say it was the first reggae. Yeah, we're going to have yeah. a little discussion about that still. Yeah, but yeah, we could yeah. talk to me how the song yeah, was yeah, created. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me talk to you. Like, like, like I said, the first part of it, that um, Carlton Barrett, that was the first song he played, played on. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. But the, uh, 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 everything come about. I, I, I was living in Denham town at the time. Mm -hmm. And then every day we have to go down to Igla's rest down by Randy's and Chancel Lane. So I was passing by Duke Reed Studio, mm -hmm. which Street. I do like an everyday thing. Right. And somebody told me that Bonnie Lee was upstairs with the, having a session. So I went up there to see Bonnie Lee call me and Bonnie Lee went to the same school, then I'm yeah, done so, school, mm -hmm. and used to be a cricket and all that thing there, you know? So I went upstairs to see Mr. Bonnie Lee, and he, when he saw me, he said, Pro, they called me Pro when Pro. I was younger. Oh, okay. He said, Pro, I'm glad I see you, man. He said, I have a song here, you know, named Bongo Chant. Bongo Chant. Yes, and I'm Lester Sterling, it's going to blow it. But I'd love to have some words in it. And then he, he hummed it to me. He oh, said, okay. Ta da 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 da. And I say, Mumano want Bangaram. And him say, Yes, that is it. That is it, man. Yeah, and that was it. <laughs> and that is it. That was up it. Till today. I think, though, yeah. like before, I think it's an adaptation of a 1950 hit. Yeah. So Bonga Chant, I yeah, think yeah, it yeah. is. It is a foreign Let me song. tell you what his name His name is Kenny Graham. Yes. Of the Afro Cubists, I think them. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Yes, of course. So it wasn't really Lester Sterling song. It was the guy's so, song. So Lester has taken ownership of our Chaito. Yeah, him Chaito. And all that. So just blow yeah. Lester blow on the song. Yeah, it just blow on it. Because it was a foreign song. I the only difference with the song is I put in the words. The one line. Because I'm only the I'm the one and only artist who ever sing a one line hit, you know. Bang Mama no want bangarang. And I haven't said anything more. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that is one of the my biggest said. Oh, yes. Yes. Very big. Big song. So that is the way it yeah. come about. Okay. And then the story that follows that, they said um, Larry Marshall sing a Nanny song Goat. named Lan Nanny Goat. Mm. And that was the, the first. first reggae, too. But I'm not disputing anything. Oh, you're not disputing yeah, it? Because it was not, I say it's my song is the first song. It was the music fraternity. Yeah, because there are a yeah, few songs yeah. that come up in the conversation. So, yeah, so Larry Marshall's yeah, Nanny Goat. Yes. You have Funny Boy by Lee Scratch Perry. Yeah. And you have Do the Reggae by yeah, Toots and the Metals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all of them songs, they're not a the time period there. Yeah, so yeah, they, yeah. they normally come up in different discussions. Yes. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then the next thing about it. You are people who sing song about do the reggae and all that, that. But reggae is not a song. It's the beat. Reggae is a rhythm. Right, it is. And this rhythm was created by Bonnie Lee. Right. Yeah. But so, but your song was done 68. Tootsie's yeah. song was done 68. Yeah. Lee Scratch Perry's song was done 68. I'm yeah. not sure the exact year Nanny Goat was done, but I almost can't tell us yeah, between yeah. 68 and 69 yeah, too. Yeah, 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 so yeah. the whole of them songs that come out basically the same year. Yes, definitely. And that is when the music was now transitioning from rock steady yeah. into reggae. Definitely. So all of those songs are important yeah, in the transition to reggae, reggae music. They are. They are. But show them give me the credit. They take, take it. it. 
Kana mi said that you know, at least yeah. Perry, Bonnie Lee, Clancy, Heckler, and all that. So Lee was in the discussion that said? Oh, yes, that oh, Bangarang cool. was the first thing. Lee was asked about what is the first thing. So Bangarang is the first reggae because Lee was asked about what is. He was the one supposed to play in it, but he couldn't make it, so he said, um, So family man play upon yeah, it? Yeah, family man and him brother, Carlton Carl Barrett. Bar yeah, mm. yeah, so it's not about me, it's what yeah, them say. But as I said, for me personally, yeah, yeah. whether first, second, third or fourth, those yeah. four songs mm. are extremely important yeah, yeah, yeah. in the birth. Of um, reggae music, definitely. so we give thanks for that. Yeah, oh, that's yes. what I mean. I say, oh, yes, mm. oh, yes. And it's a bangarang now, yeah. it's a, a, a one line, yeah, a one liner. Yes, yes. woman, no one a bangarang for you, but I never knew that. Less there was a situation where Lester was trying to take ownership yeah, of the but song. Yeah, he was just. I don't know. Bless him soul, my mm. friend, and all of that. Because so, so he's his adapt, he adapt. Yeah, it's an adaptation. Yeah, 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 man, as you yeah, say, yeah, Kenny yeah. Graham up there. Yeah, yes, he was just covering. Afro Cubis. It. Yeah, he was just Bongo covering. Chan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Bongo Chan. Bongo Chan. Yes, man. 68, 69, and all. Yeah. Then 69. Then, then, then the peak of your farm. Yeah. 69 is a different thing, but we talk about it still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after Bangarang, which, which were some of the other songs that did well for you, though? Oh, there's so many songs that did well for me. Because Bangarang came in the 60s, right? Right, 68 it was, yeah, yeah, it was and, released. And they may have all Just Like a River and them song came. Oh, Just Like a River came after? Yes. Oh. Yeah, Just Like a River and... Down by the train line. Down by the train line. That's how we put it. Right, right, because Miss Pottinger didn't come into the business till later. Oh, okay. You yeah. see, what you do for me now, now you give me some timelines I'm never sure about, so yeah. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think in 1971 you migrated to England? Yeah, in 73. 73? Yeah, I migrated to Canada. So you went to. Yes. I went to England before. Before, right? With, um, with Max Romeo and Pat Kelly and Derek Morgan. In at the time when Max Romeo had a song name, what every dream. night I go to sleep, I, I have a wet, wet dream. dream. Mm -hmm. So, and then Bangarang was into that segment. Oh, too, okay. You know? Yeah, so that was the first time I ever leave Jamaica. So, you never actually did I live in England? You went to work? Yeah, I just went to work. I used to live in Canada. Right, so I know, I know you went to Canada in 73? Yeah, in that time, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, you end up in Canada, though? Well, it's a long story, but I can make it short. <laughs> <laughs> um, my uncle was living in Canada, and he came to Jamaica. His name is Roy Roach. He was a singer, too. Oh, okay. He used to sing in clubs and all of these things. Never make a record. So he came to Jamaica. And him come and look for me, come and name no in a Jamaica. Mm. And then he came and saw me and asked me if I wanted to come to Canada. And I said, Yeah, no, yeah, opportunity. <laughs> come in and make no money. Oh, you know, I make no money at Jamaica. Yeah, With all of them big songs there? Yeah, I mean I make no money. So I decided to go to Canada and live in Canada and all of that car. I work in Canada in a factory. Tanker toys. Uh, Tanker toys as a machine operator Machines. and all of these things. And then little after that, I opened my own record store in Kensington Toronto, Market. in Kensington Market. Mm -hmm. You know me so good. Why you don't talk for oh, me? No, I look at things. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your hand. We do have to look at like things. Right? You know, look, we slow it down a little. Yeah. See? So you went to Toronto, you went to Canada in 1973. Yes. And, um, but, so while the music wasn't there, there were a lot there, based on my, because what I've spoken to Leroy mm. Sibbles, I think, mm. Jackie Mitu was living there yeah, at the time. Yeah, yeah. I think probably Carleen Davis yes, was there uh, at point Ernest in time. Smith. Ernest Smith was there too. Yes, and uh, um, Johnny has burned. Oh, Johnny, what? Yes, and quite a few of us I were there. champions, that man. Yeah, but nothing wasn't too strong. They with never music. structured with the music in that, that time, time you know? Oh, yes. so you have to find something else you now. Know, you have to do something, because I had my family and things like that. So I went and Food worked. Food I forgot about the table. Yes, I work in a factory as a machine operator. How long you worked at Tonka for? Uh, maybe three years or so. What, yeah. what ended that? Uh, I just feel like I just want to be in music much more. And then I 
started to try to open a record store and all of these things. And the record store started very small, but then became yeah, a big thing. Yes, because it's in the... Uh, Cole Records? Yes, yeah, Stranger, Stranger Cole, Cole Music. Mm. It's in the archive of um, Canada. They said that was the first um, Caribbean thing to be Caribbean in that. Caribbean business? Yeah, to be in that well, yeah, area. Why with yourself, man? Yeah, I'm going with nothing. <laughs> I look him, I look him, man. I look you, I look you. Yeah, because, you know, in this business, it's not how good you are, you know. It's how lucky you are. It's not how good you are, it's yeah. how lucky you yeah, are. Yeah, because I know a lot of good people who have never made it like it me, true. you know. That's true. So, yeah. I appreciate yeah, that lucky, perspective you know? there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so true. Yeah. You, so you said, that, 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 and the record store now, how long that business ran for? I had to run for like another five years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. No, it's good, man. <laughs> yeah, man, good, man. I start to live nice. I'm a care of bumps and peer people are come on the record store and all of that. And then after a while, I start to get some challenges into the market. So I decided to leave and I went to, to America and I go live in um. California for about four years. Well, it's a touring man, man. Yeah, yeah. So and when I lived in Cal California, I thought more or less that this is not really what I want. Maybe I live good still. Yeah, you know? I live good. nice. But mm. I love music more than everything. You know? So I decided to come back to Jamaica. What year was that? Well, I mean, I remember. Can I remember? Mm. Yeah, but when I come back to Jamaica, <laughs> this is a great story. When I came back to Jamaica, I went up by half a tree with Barry Sam and them, and the whole of them hung out up at Aquarius. Aquarius, right? Yes. And a, a brother said me, I said, Stranger Cool, I'm glad I see him. He said, The Jamaica independent thing is coming up, you know, with a love of a man like you, for it, you know. I said, Yeah. He said, Yeah, man. He said, the government not pay too much money, you know, but we can't pay you about X, Y. <laughs> One of the biggest money me ever here for a long time. I said, yes, man. He said, the government are going to give you half, and when you finish, you get the next. You may get the next half. And it was at the stadium when Nelson Mandela, Millie Small, was here. So I'm going to go and stay there. you been to a stadium? 92? Yeah, yeah, I hate me to talk about it. It's the same thing I to talk about. So I'm going to go up at the stadium and I stand up and wait. Mandela Bo. And be the man, go up and sing a song like Bo. Moly arm and hey, something green like that. Over there, sir. <laughs> yeah, and the whole stadium, Bo be the man. And them come on the back stage and say, you are going now, you know. I said, no, man, I'm not going out, you know. So you were supposed to go out after B to get the boo? Yeah. <laughs> and I said, no, I'm not going, because if them can boo B, because B is a big artist, you know. Them, what them are going to do with me? I said, I don't want to go out there, you know. Them say, you are going. And I said, all right. And them call me, but I'm going to sing rough and tough and have the whole Big show that you can't feel this, sir. I said, I have the whole stadium. A rock. A rock. And my friend them tell me, say, don't leave Jamaica again, you know. Yeah. Because yes, it's Jamaica people love you. And from then, I didn't leave Jamaica. I live here still. Yeah. I think Mandela came in yeah. 91. So that was 92. a good one for me. Yeah, good story that yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, good yeah. Story, yeah. <laughs> and you, you have been here since then? I'm here since but then. But you just go work and... Yeah, I work and come back. You worked in Eden store at, at any point in time in Toronto? Yes. That after tanker? Yes. Uh, after tanker, I'm working in Eaton store as a janitor. Okay. That is a good story, too. Talk to me about it. Come up, then, then give me a suit for wear. You know, in a foreign country, I you know, work ordinary. My mom a suit with me, Eaton button, bonnet, and thing. And when them get to find out that I was stranger called from Jamaica, them start making me mark for them, you know. Give me some cashmere thing for wear and all of these things. Yeah. You know? Yeah, some of them get big in and eaten. It's hard floss. Yeah, yeah. But, but eating couldn't really hold me. They couldn't hold it. Because I love the music. Mm. And then it's after eating. You got Cali? Yeah, no. After eating, my work, my records. Oh, tour. okay, okay. Yes. This is the free. This is mm -hmm. the free. So I think I'm up and up front. Yeah, up and up. Up and up. Up and up. Yeah. You mm -hmm. actually started a record label? Oh yes, I mean, I produce a lot of songs for myself. And Stranger Cole record 
Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So while it's in Canada, I think, well, I'm not sure, so you can correct me. I think that is when you did uh, Forward in the Land of the Sunshine. Yes. Nine, that, that was 76, I think, that came out. I don't remember wasn't, that. Yeah. Wasn't that your first album? Yes, I think so, in Canada. In Canada? Yes. Mm. And then I go along to make many more right. albums, you know? The that, Male Man and some other more albums. The first 10 know? years, I think, that was yeah. out, 1978. Yeah. yeah. Then Capture Land. Capture Land with the mm. Chalawa, yes. Then The Patriot. Yes, The Patriot. And all of those are on your label? Yeah, the Patriot is on my label. Mm. Capture Land with some other people. Yeah, I think in all... And, and, and on Capture Land, um, uh, the music was played. Um, Leroy Siblet was a bass man who played on, on, on okay. Capture Land. Yeah. The whole album? The whole album. Yeah, because he was in, in, in Canada at the time. Yeah, he was the, the Epto. All the, the Eptones Eptones were right, living right. in Canada at that time. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Quality musicians in there oh, play yes. on the album. Oh, yes, man. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you actually did anything with Jackie Me Too whilst you were in it, Canada? No. No. Only when I was in Cox. Cox. Oh, as I said, Cox, I think World's Fear was done yeah, for yes, Cox. And Artabella. And Artabella. Oh, okay, Quite okay. A few more. Think in 06 now, 2006, mm -hmm. you did a morning train. Oh, yes. With Jashaka. Yeah, for Jashaka. Bless him soul. Mm. I want to tell you the truth, you know, I don't want to boost up my record, but Jack, Jack Shaka had one of my best albums, you know. That is Morning Train? The Morning Train, you know. Right? Did well? Yeah, it, it, it did. It's still doing well. Still doing well. well. Mm -hmm. I'm glad for you, Jack. Yeah, Morning Train. So mm. good. And then uh, accompanying me on that album was a guy called Winston Jarrett who used to sing with the Alton Ellis oh. and the Flames. Okay. Yeah, me and him did the most of the background vocals. vocals. We even did us one and two songs together on that same album. You made reference to this earlier, but in 2009 you appeared in the documentary Rock City, The Roots of Reggae. Yes. And that documentary then led to an album Yes. And on that album, I think the song that you have on that album is with Gladi. Yeah, love, 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 love Me Today. Love Me Today. Yes. Oh, yeah, the, that documentary is, was, you may not, may not get in your business anymore. No, it was a paid it, thing. Man. You know too much of it. <laughs> it get in it. Get in it. It was a paid thing or it was just no, the, it the artist? No, it was a thing. It was well paid for. Well paid for. Because these people came out of um, Canada mm -hmm. uh, and were syndicated. Right. Them to do this project. Brilliant project, yeah, that's it, man. Brilliant. So on this project, we have people like all Ernest Ramblin. Marcia Griffiths. Dumb, um, oh, oh, my. Leroy. Leroy. Siblis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ken Booth. Ken Booth, right. Oh, yeah. It was, it was super good. And then we went to Montreal and do the Montreal Jazz Festival, Festival. which, we, which, which we, we sing for 100,000 people. You know? So that was really... Big, you know. Where is the actual documentary? What, what people can get it for watch though? Because when I see it, I said I saw bits and pieces on YouTube and mm -hmm. the trailer, but when I see the whole thing, okay. The May album is available because I see the album there, yeah, and thing, and I guess it's probably on the, the digital place. Well, but where we can actually get the documentary itself. It, well, you're talking to the main man, mm -hmm. then maybe you have to come by me. I'm a, Find a copy and we run it off or my gear. Because you are the one who did a lot of the narration in it. I did a hard narration on it. Yeah. They paid me for that. They told me that I was a smart guy. You are a smart yeah, guy. But <laughs> all the things them that they gave me to do, it was their idea. Oh, so okay. all I had to do is just read what they say, you know? And us. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a peer them said I did well. <laughs> I'm glad for no one said anyone <laughs> outside that actually Holding a microphone, yeah, makes some money out of the music too. Cause you say yeah. advertisement, that's a yeah, documentary, yeah, yeah. that's mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And uh, oh, how has the album been doing though? Are you not, you not follow up with that? No, me not follow up with that. Because I'm a legend, it's yeah. the album, yeah, you know, like, father. Like me say from the early days. Think day. Derek Morgan is on it yes, as well. Yes, man, Derek Morgan. When me did something in music, I don't follow it up. Like for instance, I just gave you a 45, right. an EP. The, both of them was made in Germany. In Germany? Yes. And we're not too far up on that. 
I think we make some more music. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I think we make some more music. And definitely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, as we said earlier, your career is not has not only been for you. You, you have done a lot of work with other artists. Oh yes, probably you are one of the artists who yeah. have collaborated the most in the business. Yes, so we know about Stranger and Ken. More and carry on where you said to. The first song that the Techniques did, when mean, little did you know? You mean Winston them? Yes, I took them from a place called Chukumu in a denim town and took them to Jew Creed. And the first song them sing it was called Little Did You Know, which was a big hit for them. Stranger Paul brought the, the techniques, techniques yes, to Treasure, to treasure Island. Island. Yeah. Yes. And uh, I, 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 I do things to, for people like Ijam and Levi. Ijam and Levi. Yes, and the meditation. I may have quite a few artists where may help, which I think is a good thing for every artist to do, you know, to help yeah, other man. artists. Cause you get a chance to go through the door, so if you can yeah, bring an extra yes, artist through the door, yeah, so you can yeah, feed them family, nothing wrong with that. Most of them artists are nowadays, from them get like a big, them, them not deal with nobody else. But yeah, I think them talk should to people. help the, the other artists, them. Care yes. them, give them a one sample, and you show and bust them, in other words. Makes sense, man. I agree yeah, yeah, with yeah, your whole artist. Because when you bust them, you bust the music. Bigger. Bigger, true. Of course. But a selfishness thing, then, yes, no father, of course. Yes, of Mm -hmm. So, uh, so we talk about you and Ken. Mm -hmm. You are Art and Zealous now, as you mentioned earlier. Yeah, yeah. Well, Mockingbird, I think. Yeah, yeah, yes. And um, High School Dance. Yes, and quite a few. Oh, more. you did more? Yes. We did quite a few songs. And the history about me and Art and Zealous, we started out as a dancer. You were a dancer? Yes. <laughs> We never know that. Yeah, we ran second from the Virgin. Virgin show. Opportunity Hour. Oh, uh. And Art and Zealous was my dancing partner. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm talking about the Ellis now. I sang with um, Art and Ellis too. I sing the song. Uh, I've lost that love, that love, that love. Wow, wow, wow. But what the song was? Yes, because. Alton Ellis said I should help him sing the song, but when I hear him singing, I can't find a place to pace myself. <laughs> That's him, yeah. So I start saying, wow, 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 and him say, yes, that is it. <laughs> but yeah. the man was the man the dancer when I talk yes, to him. Yes, man, I dance, man. <laughs> I sing for an whole heap of music to with other artists. Other artists. You know, a lot. Mm -hmm. Some in plant piece of corn down a goalie and Wally put them somewhere with Byron Lee. Mm -hmm. That is another story. Talk to me about that story. Yeah, because, I never know say yeah. I'm Byron though. Oh yeah. I did a big tune with Byron Lee, me and Patty named Come Back. Come Back. Yes. Sure I'm familiar with that one. Yes, and then me and Ken Boot do song for Byron mm -hmm. Lee. Too, okay. And all of that. Yes, and then we sing around Monte Morris and Toots and the world crew, mm. you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. The time has come with yeah. one of the most beautiful voices oh, yeah, ever grace in music, Slim come. Smith. Yeah, the time has come. Yes. Now, I think that is the last song Slim Smith song, you know. Cha cha. Because he was a good friend. Beautiful of mine, voice. The time has come. You know, sometimes you interview me, you make me feel like more and cry. Yeah. One of the great voices and everything. Mm. Friend, you know. Yeah, man, the time has come. And me and him, me and him sing more songs. More songs. Around Bonnie Lee. Them. Yeah, man, because I yeah. know Bonnie Lee. Yeah, because me, me not just a lead singer. Me the background artist. Oh, okay. Me sing for no. No. Me used to sing with a, with a group called the Reggae Boys. The with reg the Pioneers. Oh, me know about the, me know you do work with the Pioneers yeah, still. Yeah, the man look there and... Them okay. are laugh and a kicky kicky for the Joe Gibbs, them. Okay. Yeah, so we work with the pioneer them to and all of these things. Mm, I, I, you, say, you just story. mentioned that you did yeah. some work with the Mentals, with, yeah. with Toots as well. Yeah. Delroy Wilson, I want to love you. Yeah, Delroy Wilson. <laughs> Cut. When me and Delroy Wilson used to have a one label named W and C. Double and C. Yeah, and we do a tune. Wilson and Cole. Yeah, I want to love you and, and, and the once upon a time and the same tune in here. Love me today and another tune in me and Gladi. We did four songs on that day. It wasn't really for us. We okay. Did, we did it for a man named Mr. Wright that I wrote. Wright's Jewel Store. Okay. And then when we did the song, 
Mr. Wright gave it to us. Oh, okay. So they pray. Yeah. yeah. So they pray. Mm. But you have done. Me me know you do all the work, you know. Yeah, me know you do all the work, you know. Yeah, so right now, right now, I pay me away. I pay. Yeah. No man want me dead and all that for collect my money, but me tell them say anytime I'm gonna go away, I will let you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm speaking about that because I know you said that some, for some of the early works you never get no money for. No, but none how, of us. how are things now re royalties and publishing though? Well, I'm kind of in the business, come and go up now. Because right. in the early days, I never know about publishing and mm -hmm. But over the years, I get to learn from people who know, and I'm getting some publishing. So, yeah, I told you I buy my house. And I got that through publishing. Mm -hmm. And right now I'm working with some lawyers and all that in England who is trying to recuperate money some of for me for 40 and 50 years. So I'm like still that. waiting on this thing to come through. So it looks like we have a good future. Mm -hmm. I just want to live. More life. More life. Yeah, More of life. course. Yeah. More life. Mm -hmm. You have been mm -hmm. all over the world to work, man. I would mean, say that too, but the world is big enough. I've I got enough places in the world. Yeah, yeah. such yeah. as? Yeah, my God. Albert, Canada, Albert. America, England, the whole of South America, Brazil, Costa Rica, oh, Austria. Oh, too much place. I don't remember all, but I've been around. Yeah, so mm -hmm. is there any way we're going to work yet? We're still old for the match down that one place there? Eh? Yeah, the main next year is coming up, it's going to be in Virginia. Okay. A big um, schedule with spear scat artists from all over the world. So I'm going to be going there like next Thursday coming. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, so I'm going to catch you before you ask about... Yeah, man, I'm do a reggae. I think, yes, yeah, since they tell me that. i jam with you. One of the biggest shows. Germany. Show. I'm in a Germany and quite a few shows. I'm going to get some big show. You know? As you should. Yeah, I'm going to get nervous sometimes, but you know, when the, I'm coming... The great you, change of cold. Yeah, the nervousness is kind of gone away, you know? Yeah. yeah. Where's your favorite place to perform, though? I don't know. You don't know? I would have said Jamaica, because mm -hmm. I love Jamaica so much, and Jamaica people, you know? But Jamaica people don't react to the music. You know, you can do a big place with Jamaica people, and everybody stays up. So. And then when you finish, them tell you, say, oh, him was the wickedest heart. But they're not but sure you when you have a problem. They're not sure you. <laughs> when you're there with a foreign, you know, to man out there, all the skinny, them take off all them hat and them shirt and fling with them shoes and come from the stage and chuck off and all of that. You them, feel the vibration. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm. I love Jamaica still, but we don't rare. Mm. Like when we are out in the world, you know? True, yeah, yeah. So you're still, you're still recording, though? Oh yes, I mm. never stop recording. Never stop recording. Yeah, I just have a song that released out of um, Australia. It is called Morska, and it just released like about two weeks ago. Okay. Maybe if you Google it, you find, find it. You know. Mm. Yeah. So I'm always making records. Yeah. I know, know that you have collaborated with some of the legends in the space. Yes. But you ever think about, you know, say, the artist that me then love for going to the studio go do a song with him one at a time? Yeah, Wally, man. Wally. Yeah, Wally. Wally. Yeah. Name drop a few, man. Wally. No, yeah. I can't drop <laughs> no few because, you know, me have a Oh, yeah, sister Marcia and I do together. No, me and Marcia and I do not. She's my friend. Because I mean it before she. Yeah. Yeah, and she come from the West, too, you know. She used to come by Jew Creed and yeah, man, in no, the no. early parts of days and all of these things, you know? Yes. Yeah, I would love to sing with Marcia Griffiths too. I love to sing with Barry Salmon too, because I'm bad, you know? Barry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love to sing with Barry Storm, but can't yeah. sing it you know? No, no, no. No, every Jamaican can sing it. Yeah. Yeah. I want to tell you the best. Well, I'm not Jamaican, they're not a father of the church. Right. You see the best Jamaican artists, yeah. them don't sing. They don't sing. Them say me them, and, me them, and I don't want to do it. Yeah, them say they don't have that kind of money. You know, you know. I don't know, that's why I don't yeah, sing. Yeah. But I have some friends who can't sing. Good enough. And them say they don't have that kind of money. So the, the best artists them do nah, sing. <laughs> mm. Looking at the journey, <laughs> Father Stranger, yes, Zane, when you assess it, I'm mm. going to look at you from Jonestown to Trenchtown. Yeah. When you look at your musical legacy, what is that thing that makes you... Give you a sense of, a sense of joy, a sense of pride, for you know, say, that a part of your legacy where your kids and your grandkids and your great-grandkids can look at and say, yeah, I'm the big man that. 
Yeah, well, my greatest pride in the whole thing is, is to know that when I've started out, I just had a feeling that I could um, make music. And uh, I can remember the first time I started to write song, I go back by an exercise book. And I went through my house corner and start to write some like a song. Some of them haven't been recorded mm. even now, and 60 years and all of that. But my years. pride and joy is to know that where I'm really coming from mm -hmm. and where I'm at and where I would love to go. And where would you love to go? Yes. Where would you love to go? What else do you want to add to the legacy? I, I would love to go in a position where I can help the music industry. Because I was talking to my little son the other day. His name is um, Marcus. Marcus. You know, him have a little studio. I do the hip hop and thing. And you know, Squidly already. Right. Play with the Marlin. Jama. Yeah, Jama. And also, yeah. I think he played with Mota too yeah, from time to time. Larry Lil and all that. I'm a big star, you know. Yeah, yeah, and all of that. Yeah, but my, where I would love to go, I would love to make some money where I can have a place where um, some little children, like from about three year old to about 10 year old, or even 12, mm -hmm. where they could learn music, music and then they could go to um, another place after that. Right, right. Because Chuck. if you can teach some children music from them, it's three till them reach 10. Them are right when them go some true. other place. True, true, so true. that is my... Um, that is how I feel, yes. where I want to reach. I want to reach a, a place where I can give back. Yes. You made mention of the fact that mm. Hey Baby is the, the biggest song in terms of yeah, you finance. know what finances. But is yeah. there a song in the catalog that speaks to you more than the rest of them? Or is it named to them more? Yeah, it's too many. Too many. Yeah, because I still would have to call rough and tough, bang around when I call your name, hey, hey, baby, or oh, Tibel and all of these things. So I have a, quite a quite few. Quite a few. Mm -hmm. A few classics. Mm -hmm. Quite a man not getting another thing. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah yo, someone will get a hit, but when you say, run Joe. Run, run Joe. Yeah, 1965, that's something that come out. Yes, I have a record with <clears throat> Run Joe with um, the, um, the Australia um, Scare Orchestra. Okay. Yeah, they have it on record. And then they won for the best record in Australia for like last year. With with, 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 with what you do with them? Yeah, Ranjo is on it too. Ah, yeah. Nice one. Yeah, man. <laughs> we get you, some like a nice thing. Yeah, you also have gotten a few awards mm. down the years. Yes. I know that you were given an award at one of the Grand Gala. I don't remember the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was the year with Junior Gang yes, and, and stuff. And, and, and for Richard your Stevens. Richard Stevens, Richard yeah. Stevens for your yeah. contribution to the music. Yes. I think also recently you along with Tommy Cowan yes. was awarded in, in, New, in York. New York. Yes, and we got something from the um, the House of Congress mm -hmm. and the Mayor of New York. Congratulations, man. Yeah. Very um, deserving, yeah, man. Well, um, you know, there is certain thing in this world where money can buy, you know, which is very precious. Right. Like love and life and something more. So I appreciate those happy things. for all of this thing, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. For the people out there who are who don't know how to get in touch with you for yeah. bookings mm -hmm. and for dub plates. Yeah. Come in on your sound killer, you know. Yes, man. How no, they man. find how they find you? Just tell them for call you. <laughs> <laughs> My number is 864-9979. Yeah. Yeah. It done. It done. Done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Done. Yeah. How, how many children? I know you was coming to that, you know. And then I'm gonna give you the best story you ever hear give me. in all your life. Yeah. I was asked on many interviews how many children, children. I have. Mm -hmm. And then I told the interviewer like uh, what I'm gonna tell you. Mm -hmm. I never have a child, but some ladies have some for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> how, how many children the ladies have for you? <laughs> I have seven children seven with the children. ladies. Yeah. And my first son was a pilot and he died in a plane crash. I'm so sorry to hear yes, that man. True. In Jamaica? No. 
in Canada. In Canada. I'm very sorry to hear that. Yes, man. me too. Very yeah. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, so that is it, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Cole is married and happy. <laughs> Yeah? Well, I said Mr. Cole is married and happy. Oh yeah, my wife is in Canada, you know. Okay. And we still are friends and all of that, but you know, we separate from person to person, but we're still in love. <laughs> <laughs> Father Cole. Yeah. As well as one of the greats and everything. And yeah. and for the man, based on age, yes. still sprightly and strong and yeah. full of life and yeah. energy. Yeah, my I'm happy for that. Yeah. Thanks. I'm happy for that. Thanks. And it's also great to know that you are still able to go out in the world to spread the music Thanks. and to bring joy through the music. Yeah. You understand? And also, you would have helped quite a few people who are now giants in the space yes. to get a foot in the music. I never tell you all this part. Tell you me. have to stay with me for the yeah, rest of your me life. I don't mind, you know. <laughs> I was the first one who recorded the Mighty Diamonds, you know. Stranger Cole? Yeah. And then it was the, the first one. Yeah. yeah. The first song the Mighty Diamond make it was called Oh No Baby. And Tabby Diamond who, who, who died. Yeah, right, 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 right. He, 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 he is the uncle of my son, Squidly Cole. Oh, okay. <laughs> But if I know nothing less Yeah, me know, but man, for you, you know so much, me start to nudge you with something. Yeah, me have to nudge you, go ahead nudge you, man. Go ahead nudge you, yeah. And is there anything else where me yeah. not bring out, because you know when you know all things, though, no, where you think you need to share, well, in terms of your contribution, the moment, not at the moment. Maybe the next, next interview. Time. I would love another one. <laughs> I would love another one. Yeah. You're still in love with the music. Oh, yes. I, the, I love nothing more than the music, you know. Mm. I, I, I live... Good liberty, right? For the music, for the music. Cause I used to live in America. I'm in a dusty. I kind of live alright. Yeah. I'm gonna live. I'm gonna come back to Jamaica and live a loo clean, you know. And okay. You know, and you know Rough. That, that is the inner city. Yeah, it's yeah. Not even when we did there, but because of the music and the love for the music, I decided to sacrifice for the music. But with the help of Jerry Stafari, I buy my house and all kind of thing, you know? Nice, man. I'm happy for that, man. Because yeah, when I put in the work, yeah. you have to earn from the work. Yes, you know? of course. You, you know? understand? You have to earn yeah. from the work, man. Yeah. And as I say, you're yeah. one of the men who helped set the yeah. thing. Yeah. And if you see the man still going strong, yeah. it's a blessing, man. Yeah, thanks. It's you know? a blessing. Can we did the interview, you know? Yeah? Because you know why? It was being cancelled for quite a few times. Right. And then I make up my mind now, say, anytime you come again, give you the worst. We appreciate that, man. Yeah. We appreciate that. I will that. still have more to go, but the next interview. The next is not a problem. <laughs> so when you go on the road next week, yeah. you enjoy yourself I and be will. safe. Yeah, thank you, sir. Our day. Yes. Great man. What was your name again? Teach. They don't call me Teach, but my name yeah. Chris or Humor. Yeah. So whichever one you want. I could have given you a new name. Boy, give it up. Yeah, because I have enough name in it. <laughs> <laughs> so just do the thing yes, and sir. we're there. Yeah, yeah. So I'm say, go and enjoy the music. Yes. And we, we sincerely and deeply appreciate, man, appreciate the man's yeah. contribution yeah. to the music. Thank you very much. Big up yourself every yeah. time. Respect Father, Wilburn, yeah. Theodore, Cole. Cool. Yes, sir. <laughs> Big up yourself. Thank Pro. you, sir. Yes, thanks. Mm -hmm.